welcome guys welcome back to the channel and this is going to be the review of a very very interesting product they call it the luma cube the most portable lightning kit the good thing about this is that you can buy multiple of these uh, together and make your own portable kind of a micro rig whenever you are doing a little bit of light photography flash photography and stuff like that not only that whenever you open up the box whenever we open up this box you will see that this is a light that you can control from an app that is pre-built with the uh, with the whole setup so I'll show you the app you have to download on your phone and you can control this light from your phone now let's go ahead quickly and unbox and see what's there inside this so opening up should be pretty easy sorry guys I'm holding the camera in one hand and uh, inside this lies the cube so when you're all going to unbox this you're going to see that this thing is uh, coming with a small stand this is kind of a tripod mount also so you can mount this on the tripod otherwise you have small threads or anything you can use this because this whole setup can be used on a parachute stand and stuff like that so let's keep the box aside and see whether they have included anything underneath or not so when you open up this box uh, inside this you will find a charging cable this charging cable is used to charge your luma cube so this is a rechargeable light i do not know operating times but i'm going to read what is inside the box and uh, they include you some stickers some caution also and a very important quick start guide now let's keep this aside and see how this works before we go and jump in let's turn the thing off so this is what they say this is how you can use creative lighting uh, for uh, the for with your cameras your dslrs and you can use this for drones also they do work with drones they have special kits uh, to which you can put on your drone and do creative stuff uh, with that Alrighty, guys before you uh, you know like um, go ahead and turn this on you have to download the app uh, from the app store it, this is uh, called the luma x that you guys need to install it's called luma x it's available on app store and that app is going to give you full control on this light now this is there's a very interesting clause in written in the manual which i'm going to show you uh, in a moment right now so you guys might be wondering what is the screw or gasket is all about so this uh, screw which here is on the top so underneath this is uh, the place where you charge with your uh, micro usb cable this is like a gasket you will see out here if i can focus uh, as you can see this is a tiny gasket that protects water from seeping inside the unit and this is light is underwater too so you can use these lights underwater also but make sure that your gaskets are all the way turned in otherwise water might seep in the unit and it might destroy or damage the unit so guys this is the luma cube light that's very very powerful um, this is actually so if I keep the light like this I can do some reviews and stuff like that and if I face the light this way I can still see so this is the luma cubes light and this is the light that I so this is my 32 LED light uh, which I had bought uh, for very cheap for like 20 bucks and uh, I can increase and decrease the brightness and that is how bright is this Wow this is really really bright let me try to vlog with this and see whether I can vlog with this or not. Alrighty guys, it's going to get very, very bright. So this is, I'm shooting at ISO 100. This is the minimum. Then I will, this is the second level brightness. This is the third level brightness. This is the fourth level brightness. And this is the fifth level brightness. Sixth level brightness. Seventh level brightness. 8th level brightness and finally the ninth level brightness 10th level brightness and it goes back so you got 10 levels of brightness that light is super bright i cannot even see to that light right now i just want to look into the lens because that light is super bright and super crisp wow 
I mean, it's amazing that this tiny light has got so much of juice inside it. So as you can see, uh, the app actually found uh, the um, Luma Cube. So whenever you open the Luma Cube, the app actually searched for the Luma Cube because it has a Bluetooth connection. I was recording, I saw that uh, the light was falling into my eyes and I'm having red eyes. So the thing is that you can go out here in the app. On the top, it will show you percentage. And on this side and this tiny dot, you can actually turn on the red eye on and off. And it has uh, flash photography also, wow. So which means that you can do optical trigger and this should work, wow. And a dive mode is also present out here. That's pretty insane. Now let's do some uh, optical trigger and see whether this guy works like my traditional flash, like a 430EX, which is a TTL flash. And let's see whether this works or not. So uh, how to apply this on the top of a DSLR? So basically you take this whole setup, which has been given to you by the Luma Cube. And uh, then, so you just push this on the top bracket and uh, yeah it should pop in once it pops in you actually will have to yeah put this like this and your luma cube is ready now the good thing about the luma cube is the top part is movable which means that uh, you guys can actually set it this is the whole setup to show you how the optical sensor works so you can use this on uh, ttl flashes and stuff like that unfortunately my sony is a full frame camera and i didn't buy any flashes yet because i'm doing a lot of video stuff uh, so I have to buy a wireless uh, kind of a commander or a onboard flash for this. So what you need to do is that you have to hold on to the right button for five seconds. Now watch this. Whenever it finds a light source, it will trigger. So watch this. So I'm bringing it out away from the light source. Whenever I bring it to the light source, it triggers. Light source, it triggers. So light source, it triggers. Without any light source, it will not trigger. I begin a light source it triggers so how does this work is that on top uh, there is an optical sensor out here on top of the luma cube that's how it knows uh, how to react so for example you have a master flash and you have the master flash set up on the top you can put this on your sleeve and make this uh, as your secondary flash now isn't that amazing how did i not know about this product for such a long time so how small is the cube that's how small it is more or less the same size of that of a gopro hero session so it's a very very small portable light which you can literally carry around in your pocket and you do not have to worry about carrying something like this which i'm using right now this thing is massive and i have to put it in a tripod and all that setup but uh, this is something that you can put on the camera and i do a lot of uh, you know vlogs at night and i do a lot of unboxing at night so i thought that why don't i get this one so there you go guys this is going to be uh, a final kind of review on the luma cube this tiny piece of equipment can be used for so much of creative purposes you can bring lights from this one shadows on this side you can bring lights from this side and shadows on this side and you can do vlog setups also so much of creativity uh, please do let me know whether do you think that this product is going to be helpful or not i'm going to bring more stuff in the channel uh, everything is not sponsored in the channel i buy it myself and present it to you yeah um i'm a very small channel right now and uh, sponsorship is something maybe in the future but for right now i'll keep on doing my good job and try to entertain you so take care Thank you.